Hi, it's me again with Corrupt All Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, but they they want to turn it uh, where it'll be up and down, straight up and down perfectly so they can add to it and play around with it, which is, he's correct. It would make it a lot easier. I'm going to take a two-point line and I'm going to go from that node to that node. And then I'm, let's turn it red just so you can see the line. I'm going to go to Windows, Docker, Properties, and click on this right here, which is our curve. And we've got point or 4.2946. I'm actually going to type, write that out. 4.2946. 2.4946. Close enough. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a two-point line, holding down the control button so it'll be perpendicular. And I'm going to make that line 4.2946. Let's make it red also. Let's take away this line. Let's take this line right here. Let's move it over there. Let's get it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Get that four point cross and have it snap to that node. We don't need that anymore. Let's go now and we're going to set our rotation of our object on that node. And then we're going to bring this down and then I'm going to get it closer. And because our line should be the same length, we could actually grab that right there and it should snap to it. Now the way to kind of prim up a uh, semi prove huh, that it's correct. Let's get it away from the uh, off that page. And he might want it to go the other way. And I'm going to show you how to do that because we've got an angle now. But the way to kind of prove to that would be to control D and duplicate it and make it red and then mirror it. And you can see we're almost we're close. It, I mean, the drawing might not be perfect. So let's back up here. Now, let's say you want to, uh, he wants to uh, have it at the other angle, but we're at 296 or seven or 276. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor a little bit bigger, like eight inches. And this is a way to do that. Take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and nudge it down. And then you can left click, right click. And if you look now, it is at zero. And so we can go 90 degrees and then hit P and put it in the center of the page. And that is pretty equal. I personally think you'd want to draw it like this and then move it over there. You know, if you're going to add some stuff or, or create it. And, and just another word of, uh, you know, like that hole right there is not very good and he's going to be scroll sawing it. My suggestion would be able to, let's hit delete and delete that. Let's go ahead and move this to the center of the page. And then let's take a two point line and hit P. And we'll kind of see if we're good. And we're pretty good. We're a little bit off, you can see right there. Uh, from being perfectly square. So in this case, this might even be better. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete half of it. Now at this time, I would maybe go ahead and let's zoom in here. I'd go ahead and uh, maybe delete that node and then move this over to the center. And let's look at it on the bottom and all the other little nodes. I think we're good. But at this time is where you could, you know, uh, you know, this is supposed to be an ellipse. So it is a curve. So we need to go to object and break the curve apart. And then you can delete that one object. So you could take another object. And if it's supposed to be a circle, and then we can nudge that one out of the way and delete this one and just nudge that one back. So by doing that, and if you did it to the same to here, and maybe even smooth, you know, he's going to be cutting on a scroll saw 
and not lasering it. So it doesn't have to be, I'm a, I used to scroll saw before I got my laser. Um, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit rough right there, but like I said, he's gonna be scroll sawing it. And if he's that good, um, he's great. So now what we can do is take away our line and control G to group it together, control D to duplicate it, get the two-sided arrow and hold down the control button. Now we could possibly have a leak, so I'm gonna draw a, a box around it, take the smart fill tool, and we have no leak. And what that did, that glued all those nodes together. Now, uh, this thing should be perfect. And if we, if we take and control D and make a duplicate, make the duplicate red and mirror it, you can see now that the red should be right on top of the black. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.